to give you a short tour of this automatic bug eye. You know, it's a real delight for us to have one of these because we periodically, <coughs> excuse me, get calls from people looking for an automatic transmission. And of course, it's very rare to find a bug eye that's set up that way. This one has a Chevette uh, engine and transmission, and then it even has an overdrive. It's a three-speed automatic with an overdrive. That switch, which would be from an MGB or a big Healy, is actually working, and it's great to have overdrive and automatic in one car. So take a look at the nice job they did installing this. Now, again, if you're a purist, this isn't for you, but if you've got someone in the family who can't drive a manual transmission and has their heart set on a bug eye, this is a great way to keep another one of these cars on the road. In the case of this modification, they really did a beautiful job. They mounted the radiator up here with two very sub substantial electric fans, which are just uh, thermostatically controlled and powered on the dash. They have the transmission cooler there underneath the vibration damper just running flat, as you can see it right about in the center of your screen. And then uh, pretty straightforward, all the other pieces are GM. There's the single master cylinder just for the brake. They did a nice job with these um, sort of interlocking pins. They fabricated these receptacles here on the nose to lock into place. And it's of course a nice flip forward hinge assembly on the front of the frame as well. So the Chevette isn't exactly the automotive dream for people looking for um, you know, a classic car. It's a 1.6 liter basic four cylinder engine. But the key thing is it fits. So like it or not, there it is, a Chevette and automatic transmission conversion. They had to remove the heater shelf and the battery shelf here. So the battery is mounted in the trunk. But other than that, it fits quite well. And the fabrication is quite tidy. It's really a nice job. And uh, we're lucky to have yet another automatic. This is the second one that we've had so that somebody gets to drive a bug eye where otherwise there'd be a barrier. One other thing about this nice setup, they use these uh, nose locks, which are kind of slick. They, they hook from an Allen screw inside the foot, uh, foot well, and they engage these latches right here, right in the center of your screen. That piece is engaging via an Allen fitting. There's the Allen wrench right there, right in the foot well. A nice setup. So we've got wipers, horn, high beams, turn signal, of course the traditional frog eye light switch overdrive, and this engages the starter motor. Uh, instead of a pull, this is how you actually activate the solenoid. So a very cool automatic bug eye we have here at Bug Eye Guy.